So welcome guys uh, to one other in, uh, to uh, my channel Bugs Tries. So this topic will be totally a fun one because uh, today we are going to talk all about bug bounty, uh, what is all about bug bounty and where to start with, how to start with, what is the benefit of doing bug bounty, what are the disadvantages of doing a bug bounty, uh, what is actually bug bounty is all about and all these things. So uh, let's uh, make a checklist uh, so that we can uh, discuss all the topic. Uh, we will go with the notes. Checklist. So first of all, let's discuss about what is bug bounty. So I hope the font size is uh, visible to everyone. Uh, so uh, let's start with what is bug bounty. So many of you have uh, heard the term uh, I am a bug hunter, I am uh, a like, pen tester. So definitely uh, a person who is doing a work of a pen tester is called bug bounty. Like a person who is founding a bug and with that bug he is getting something rewardery uh, amount is called bug bounty. Okay. Uh, wait for a minute. Let me just check it out. My OBS. Uh, okay. Sound is cool. Uh, so, uh, like, uh, what is bug bounty? I told all about. So, where to start with? Where to start with? So, I will uh, suggest you some of the thing uh, that where to start with in bug bounty field. Uh, like, um, you can start with uh, the programs uh, which are available on, uh, like, which are available. Uh, not on uh, any platforms like bug crowd or anything like that uh, you can go with uh, individual government programs where you will be getting hof hall of fames uh, so that you can uh, like the uh, if you get a duplicate uh, also or if you get a severity level low uh, bug then you can go for it and you can test for it uh, now let's come into like uh, where to start with uh, so before starting into bug bounty you should be understanding uh, how many paths a bug bounties are about so rather than discussing about bug bounty uh, because bug bounty is a pen testing where you are getting a bounty finding a bug and getting a bounty so where a bug can be like uh, what are the possible uh, ways to find a bug and what are the possible applications that can consist of bug it can be anything uh, operating system which you are using uh, it can consist of bug a hardware or uh, a hardware which you are using it can consist of bug so definitely we divide the bug bounty into uh, major uh, major things which we can be uh, telling into like uh, applications uh, applications are there we do pen test on applications it can be windows uh, like it can be an operating system like if you find a bug on operating system you can report on uh, report on the particular forum like for windows you can report on microsoft for uh, linux you can report to linux uh, community uh, like and uh, first of all like if you get any bug on software you can report to the particular organization who have created the software uh, yeah so uh, First of all, let's divide this bug bounty into software. Then uh, it's according to me, it's not written in anywhere. Uh, it's for the easiness. So I will be, div uh, it's my preference that I will be dividing the bug bounty into, let's say three or four categories. So the first category will be the application uh, or the software, software testing. The second one will be web application testing, web app testing. MOBILE mobile testing uh, IOT IOT is the IOT testing network testing is there testing and so on uh, so you can see like uh, it is uh, it can be like a continuation of everything so let's discuss about what is web application pen testing and uh, let's take a brief example of this uh, brief example let's say today you are having a site uh, xyz.com uh, so let's uh, go with uh, taking a side of wait for a minute let's go open the firefox starting firefox and basically if you haven't seen the interface of this uh, operating system i am using uh, padder to os here and if you want to uh, like uh, tell me how to uh, 
how to install paratos i will make a separate video about that into virtual box into main machine into live pen, uh, usb pen, uh, and all this thing so i will make a video on that uh, you can comment down if you want it uh, so like let's say for example exapla.com so if you go for example.com you can see it's, uh, it's just an example site it, it can be made up of php it can be made up of anything this site can be actually having uh, uh, let's assume it it can be having a, a, a hell lot of bugs uh, why it can be consist of hell lot of bugs uh, let's say it can consist uh, sql injection it can consist anything which uh, first of all web application having two sites which we are facing is a client side and another from where it is coming is a server side so a bug can consist in any of the side a client side also a server side also so definitely you need to check it out where the bug is allowed and the bug can be of anything like it can be a sql injection uh, it can be uh, uh, like uh, insecure dns it can be uh, a remote code execution arbitrary code execution uh, sorry it can be arbitrary code execution it can be a server side forgery request ssrf it can be hell hell lot of things okay so uh, this is all about like uh, web application pen testing uh, coming to mobile application pen testing the mobile application pen testing is also consisting the same part like in the mobile uh, what you got uh, you get uh, just a application which is dot uh, apk format or for iso it consists of some other extensions but what what are these these are actually combine uh, combinations of files uh, so first you need to decompile the file the is decompile the file uh, so that what you will be getting you will be getting the source and everything so you are see here uh, here you can go with uh, two things one is a source code analyze or the source view uh, like static and a dynamic one so what is static and dynamic according to me uh, let me tell you in a simple way the static will be like uh, after decompiling uh, the application you will be getting the files and in that files you can be uh, getting hell lot of things uh, like the secret key or anything which can be there you can go and check it out and what is the as uh, dynamic one dynamic will be like let's say it is made up of in any framework or something like that and the framework the uh, latest update which we are giving is vulnerable so what you can do you can uh, set up android emulator android emulator uh, and you can go for pen test uh, sorry p n t s t pentest uh, yeah uh, pentest network and all these things okay uh, like uh, you can intercept the request what the request it is sending to the server where all the files are being located the server files i am telling definitely uh, so this is all about the android emulator we'll be discussing all this topic in a detail in a separate video like we'll be coming from mobile and everything because uh, today is totally a basic ideology and a basic system like how all uh, like what is all about bug bounty and where to start with and everything uh, so it's all about like where to start with uh, the topics from here uh, in iot like uh, you have been seen uh, tesla uh, the tesla is there uh, what tesla use tesla is automation uh, automation to drive the car if you find anything bug on the automation security or the iot's uh, so you can go and uh, take like uh, tell about is come under iot testing so i don't have a much more idea about iot and network testing well network is all about like the dns and the uh, domain servers uh, interconnections and all these things okay so uh, what happened uh, what happened in all these our files you need to particularly choose a particular domain like let's say i am uh, numbering this as a domain one sorry this will be two this will be one yeah this will be three this will be four let's say and so on sorry this will be four and so on so like if you wanted to be a successful pen tester of a bug bounty hunter uh, so you can go with any of the domain which you want like you can go with iot testing you can go with mobile as well as in the iot the blockchains are being coming now the particular section are being arising up the blockchain technology because of the web 3.0 uh, so where to start with uh, in this like first of all you need to choose out the domain and then there is a uh, like i prefer the fourth step what are the four steps first record 
then uh, how to get up let me tell you uh, the recon will be like uh, what is all about recon uh, the recon is will be to gather all the information it consists of active recons and the passive recons we'll make a video on the active recons and the passive recons definitely then you can go for the static analyze then the dynamic one then the exploitation part so what all about like first we are going for the recons uh, we are gathering the information then we are going for the static analysis of the bug then uh, again we are going for the uh, 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 okay then we are going for the exploitation part so this way you can continue with all the things and uh, like uh, all the things definitely uh, now let's coming for uh, now let's coming up with the next thing. So what is all about? What are the advantage of bug bounty? Well, advantage of bug bounty is that uh, you will get the money at a very younger age if you understand the flaws and controls as well as the bugs. Uh, you will get a, a very great experience as well as it will. It might give you job in the pen testing security fields because uh, Microsoft is also having MSRC team. Google is also having uh, Google bug hunters. Uh, there are many uh, many uh, organizations which are which are in need of security researcher so you can go and you can apply for that uh, the worst part of this thing is that uh, as a bug hunter i will tell you uh, like it's take nearly about eight hours that you won't be getting any bug it can take up to 12 hours uh, you will feel bored because you are not getting any bug but uh, you uh, you like you should never uh, lose hope that you uh, i am not getting bug that means i will leave bug bounty and all these things uh, and second of all it's a freelancing work so it can't be a stable way of getting an income okay so definitely this is all about bug bounty this was for part one in the part two uh, we'll be coming with uh, the web application testing how to do for web application testing the components and everything i hope the video like will help you who are starting from the beginner uh, make sure you connect and you see the full checklist so that it might be helpful to you thank you